Crédit Agricole SA applies a responsible remuneration policy in compliance with European directives and the AFEP MEDEF Code of Corporate Governance. The Crédit Agricole SA remuneration policy strives to apply the group's values in strict respect of all stakeholders in keeping with its raison d'être, working every day in the interest of our customers and society. The objective of the policy for the remuneration of corporate officers is defined by the Board of Directors, which benefits from the guidance of a specialist committee. The remuneration committee, composed of a majority of independent board members and a representative of the employees of Crédit Agricole ESA. This committee is presided over by an independent board member. It met six times in 2019. For 2019, the remuneration of Crédit Agricole ESA corporate officers consisted of the following components. Fixed remuneration, variable remuneration, the amount of which was defined by the Board of Directors based on the reaching of targets set at the start of the year. This variable remuneration breaks down into two parts. Non-deferred variable remuneration, which represents 40% of the variable total and which is composed of remuneration paid in cash for 30% of the variable total, variable remuneration indexed to the evolution of the value of Crédit Agricole SA shares for 10% of the variable total. Deferred variable remuneration indexed to the evolution of the value of Crédit Agricole SA shares and subject to future performance conditions for 60% of the variable total. Finally, the additional pensions of Crédit Agricole Group executive officers. The chairman of the board does not receive any variable remuneration and does not benefit from the additional pension scheme. The chairman, the chief executive officer and deputy chief executive officer have all committed to renouncing any other benefit dispersed by Crédit Agricole SA or any of its subsidiaries upon expiration of their term as corporate officers. They have moreover decided to renounce on their arrival remunerations allocated to them attached to their term as group corporate officers. In 2019, Dominique Lefebvre received fixed remuneration of €520,000 unchanged since 2015. He also received a housing allowance of €40,000. Philippe Brassac received fixed remuneration of €1,100,000 unchanged since 2018. Concerning his annual variable remuneration, the Board of Directors on the proposal of the Remuneration Committee has set the expected target rate at 114.3% in line with the group's performance in 2019. The amount of Mr. Bressac's variable remuneration in 2019 thus reached €1,257,300. Finally, Xavier Muscat received fixed remuneration of €700,000, unchanged since 2015. Concerning his annual variable remuneration, the expected target rate was set at 112.8%. Mr. Muscat's annual variable remuneration in 2019 thus reached €631,700. The three corporate officers benefited from no exceptional remuneration in 2019. In the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Chief Executive Officer and Deputy Chief Executive Officer decided on April 8, 2020 to renounce to 50% of their total variable remuneration in order to contribute to the Solidarity Fund for the Elderly established by Crédit Agricole. At the meeting of April 14, 2020, the Crédit Agricole SA Board of Directors took note of their decision. This renunciation applies to each component of the variable remuneration. The amount initially due to Mr. Brassac is thus set at €377,190 of deferred variable remuneration and €251,460 of non-deferred variable remuneration. The amount initially due to Mr. Muska is thus set at €189,510 of deferred variable remuneration and €126,340 of non-deferred variable remuneration. Pay ratio, published for the first time by Crédit Agricole in 2020, are impacted by this decision. The figures presented reprise the 2019 ratios for each of the corporate officers before and after the renunciation by the Chief Executive Officer and the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of 50% of their variable remuneration in 2019. 
These ratios enable the comparison between the remunerations of executive officers and the average and median salaries of the employees of Crédit Agricole ESSA and its affiliates in France. Six major changes are proposed to the shareholders for the 2020 remuneration policy. Alignment with the 2022 mid-term plan, reinforcement of financial criteria, predominance of quantities criteria, introduction of long-term remuneration in the form of the free attribution of shares, indexing of remuneration on CSR performances, revision of the pension scheme so as to ensure that the group complies with the requirements of the pact law and, notably, the ordinance of the 3rd of July 2019. Consequently, from 2020, the overall remuneration of corporate officers is composed of the following features. Fixed remuneration, unchanged in 2020 for the three corporate officers, annual variable remuneration, of which the targeted amount is set at 100% of fixed remuneration for the CEO and at 80% for the deputy CEO. Long-term variable remuneration, introduced in 2020 in the form of a free attribution of shares subject to performance conditions. These shares will be acquired at the end of a period of three years and can only be sold after an ownership period of two years. The attribution is capped at 20% of fixed remuneration for the CEO and deputy CEO. For pensions, following the freezing of the defined benefits scheme on the 31st of December 2019, the Board has validated the implementation of a defined contribution scheme, Article 82, on the 1st of January 2020. The CEO, having saturated his entitlements in the defined benefits scheme, will not be a beneficiary of this new scheme. It is recalled that the Chairman of the Board receives no annual or long-term variable remuneration, neither does he benefit from an additional pension scheme. The criteria governing the annual variable remuneration of the CEO and deputy CEO are hereby the following. For 60% financial targets aligned with the targets announced to the market. For 40% non-financial targets, taking into account the three pillars of the mid-term plan. The conditions of the long-term variable remuneration of the CEO and deputy CEO are as follows. One-third of targets linked to the group's intrinsic financial performance, one-third of targets linked to the group's annual social performance, one-third of targets linked to performance relative to the Crédit Agricole SA share. In accordance with regulatory provisions, shareholders are asked to approve eight motions concerning the remunerations of corporate officers, four motions on the remuneration policies regarding the chairman of the board, board members, the CEO and deputy CEO. Three motions on the amounts attributed or paid in 2019, taking into account the decision by Mr. Brassac and Mr. Muska to renounce to 50% of their variable remuneration. One motion on the remuneration report. Find all the details of the remuneration policy for employees, executive officers and corporate officers of Crédit Agricole SA in the group's universal registration document.